Hey YouTube, it's Prep for Life. Today we are going to be discussing the OSIGS Trauma Kit from OTEC Gear. This is a really cool and just compact trauma kit available to toss into any pack, so let's get into it. The OSIGS actually stands for Oh I Got Shot. You'll notice how small this is. When I pick it up, it is a, a pretty compact package and this is on purpose. You can have this thing, you know, you'll notice the molly straps on the back. Tie this thing to a go bag or a bug out bag. Throw this into your, your range bag. You know, take it with you when you're just out and about, maybe hiking or, or something like that. Anytime you are around firearms or honestly, given current events, even if you're not around firearms, things can happen. And a trauma kit like this, at least having the basics to manage uh, some critical wounds could mean the difference between life and death. It's the perfect amount of gear for most situations, like I said. Digging right in, obviously it's clearly marked here that it's uh, first aid. In the front pouch, they've actually uh, made room for a tourniquet. Now, the cool thing about OTAC is they're actually going to let you choose the tourniquet of your choice between the soft T, uh, the cat, and the rats. I actually went for the soft T in orange. It's going to be really similar to the cat tourniquet if you're familiar with that, with one major difference, and that happens to be right here in this loop. Specifically designed for quick application using one hand if you had to. So throwing this on, clicking it shut, tightening it, and then going and blocking it in using the, using the applied triangle. Just a quick demonstration with the soft T. Um, I'm going to show you here on my heart rate. Got me at about 90, 91 beats per minute, okay? I'm going to take this loop. I'm going to go ahead and clip that right into that operation. I'm going to probably put it a little bit lower down again. It depends on where the wound is uh, as far as where you're going to apply these. Um, but I'm going to pull that nice and tight and I'm going to go ahead and just give this thing, I'm going to start twisting as much as I can because that's what applies your pressure. And the main thing is just to stop the blood flow. If you haven't, oh, there it is. Now it's it's completely lost my heart rate, if you can see that there, okay? So I wouldn't want to keep that on for too long, and in fact, that is why tourniquets do include um, usually a place to write the time so that you can record what time they were put on, but it's that fast, okay? Certainly nothing you want to play around with a whole lot, but having one of these is definitely a life-saving device. And additionally, OSIGS does have a program uh, called the Heroes Program where if you were to utilize a tourniquet in a life-saving uh, situation, you can read the details on their website, they will actually replace this tourniquet for you. Uh, so just kind of a just kind of a cool feature. You'll notice they've also packed in a Sharpie. And obviously that's for noting the time. So that's the front pocket. Again, pretty basic design. Really efficient though. So as we get into the main pocket, you've got a roll of duct tape and you've got some rubber gloves. They're going to toss in a pack of, of hemostatic dressing. Now, I know some packs come with the quick clot. This one actually opts for Neustat. Uh, talking to the owners, they really like the way that this Neustat that functions. Obviously, you just tear it open. A hemostatic agent is specifically designed not just to sop up blood like a normal bandage would, but to actually stop the bleeding, to actually provide clotting. With this specific gauze, you're going to notice that it's not just a sponge, it's actually a continuous gauze. So for a deep wound, a gash like that, what you're going to do is actually take it from a sterile position, rip it open, take it, and just start shoving it into that wound deep inside and just keep going until it fills up. And then it actually ties into uh, the next item in this package, which is, is actually a compression bandage. So once you've got the hemostatic gauze in there filled up, you're actually going to take a compression bandage, wrap that up. Let's say I was shot in the arm, you're going to wrap that up, and the compression bandage actually keeps compression on that wound. Um, again, more than just a simple gauze and tape, uh, it's actually specifically pr applying pressure to that wound area. Now, um, I know in some of the other packs, the larger packs that, that OTAC sells, you're looking at more of like the Israeli bandage style. This is just a little flatter, fits into a smaller package better, but it's still a compression bandage, so very cool option there. Okay, you've got your high fin vent pack. This is actually a dual pack, which is really, really cool. Um, this is specifically designed for those situations where you've got a sucking chest wound. So imagine a bullet actually entering the chest cavity 
and interfering with normal breathing. So you'll notice right here as I look on the back, you'll see this little triangular design there, and those are your vents. So the whole thing will suck down over the wound, but then provide venting when they breathe out. So very, very cool to have this in a dual pack right there. And then lastly, guys, you've got some trauma shears. And these do not feel like your everyday, you know, Walmart special. These are, you know, a little bit more stout. There's no give there. These are, I think, a, a decent pair of shears. Uh, and, and these allow me to quickly remove clothing, especially in a wound scenario where you're not just delivering CPR. You're actually dressing a wound. You've got to get that clothing off and away from the subject. So obviously there's, there's not a ton here. But what is here and available is, is vetted gear. Like I said, being able to put these essential items really anywhere in a grab and go. Throw this in your work bag, throw it in a shooting bag. Um, it, it just is simple peace of mind. And we're gonna be looking to add, at adding uh, kits like this to each one of our kids' go bags because again, having an individual first aid kit, uh, and especially a trauma kit, is, is definitely advised. So guys, that is the OSIGS package. Um, for the price, I mean, you're probably still going to be looking in about the $140, $150 range. I will put a link below uh, where you can go ahead and check out their website. Very, very cool. These guys are they are awesome. Tried and true. It's a veteran-owned business. So go ahead and check them out. I hope you found this video useful. Feel free to like, share with your friends, and please do subscribe so you can be updated when we come out with similar content. Thanks for watching.